first the fireplace and face everybody. How, what's that like on your panoramic camera in particular shots? It's it? very good. Is that good? Yeah, it's good. And I'll stand here, is that right? right? Oh. oh, I'll tell you what, we're there then. Yeah. We're there. You don't want me in, don't need me in. <laughs> I don't need to be in, no. How are you doing? There we we'll go, we'll have you in, we'll have you in. Ah, perfect. So are you, are you videoing or are yes, you just videoing? Right, videoing. Right. Okay. We'll get photographs of you. Is that alright? Yeah? Okay. You're alright? Okay. Alright? Yeah, Look at this. <laughs> So good afternoon everyone and welcome to Akeley Heads House. My name's Anne. I have the pleasure of conducting your marriage today along with my colleague who's Chris. And Chris is going to be today your registrar for marriages. So he will ensure that all of the legal side of your wedding is taken care of. He's going to prepare your marriage certificate so you can have that as you leave today. And he'll also prepare your marriage register for you to sign along with your witnesses. We're going to just say the words that you need to say in order to become husband and wife. So welcome to you all, friends, family, or, fa or family. 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 family, the family of Stephen and Christine to their wedding day. A day when a marriage brings together two people who are in love, but also two families who become united in your happiness. So remember, we are here to celebrate your love and your commitment to each other. And marriage is indeed a commitment that two people can make in life. It offers opportunities for sharing and for growth that no other human relationship can equal, for it is a physical and an emotional journey. Within its circle of love, marriage encompasses all of life's most important relationships and gives new ways of loving through the seasons of life together. So when two people pledge to love and care for each other within marriage, they then create a spirit which becomes unique unto themselves, and it binds them closer than any spoken or written word can. Marriage is a promise and a potential that is made in the hearts of two people who are in love and then <laughs> takes a whole lifetime to fulfil. So Stephen and Christine stand before us today as they're about to make that very special journey into married life, and with Chris and I, it's a pleasure to be involved with your wedding. So Wakely Heads House, in which we now met, has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages. As you all collectively are here to witness their wedding, I do need to ask if any person present knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, and if so, you should declare it now. Silence. Silence. Right. So in that case, so that we all know you are indeed the two people that wish to be married, I just need to ask you to formally identify yourself. So Stephen, please may I have your full name. I'm Stephen John Lordio. And Christine, your full name. Christine, yeah. Before you are joined in matrimony, I have to remind you both of the solemn and binding character of the ceremony of marriage. Marriage in this country means the union of two people, voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. So I'm now going to ask each of you to, in turn, to declare that you do not know of any lawful reason why you should not be married to each other. And Stephen, this is where I impart some really good news to you, because the groom's always given the pleasure and privilege of saying everything first. Not okay. So after me, I declare. I declare. That I know. That I know. Of no legal reason. Of no legal reason. Why I, Stephen John Mordew. Why I, Stephen John Mordew. May not be joined in marriage. May not be joined in marriage. To Christine Hill. To Christine Hill. Right. And Christine, I declare. I declare. That I know. That I know. Of no legal reason. Of no legal reason. Why I, Christine Hill. Why I, Christine Hill. May not be joined in marriage. May not be joined in marriage. To Stephen John Mordew. To Stephen John Mordew. Now the solemn moment has come for these two persons to contract their marriage before all of you, but particularly before two gentlemen, Jonathan and Luke, because you're going to sign the register at the end of the ceremony on behalf of all of the guests. Okay? Your second declaration you're going to say to each other, so would you like to turn to face each other? Before that contractual declaration where you will legally take each other as husband and wife, I'm going to ask a very special question of you both, and the answer that we all want to hear to the question is, I do. So Stephen, do you take Christine to be your lawful wedded wife according to the laws of this country? I do. 
and Christine to you take Stephen <laughs> to be your lawful wedded husband according to the laws of this country. I do. In that case, Stephen, if you would please repeat after me. I, Stephen John Mordew. I, Stephen John Mordew. Take you, Christine Hill. Take you, Christine Hill. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. Christine. I, Christine Hill. I, Christine Hill. Take you, Stephen John Mordew. Take you, Stephen John Mordew. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. Done. Contractual vows and the declarations have been spoken. And marriage is a, is a verbal contract, so actually, officially, they are married because they've said those two phrases to each other. But we're going to celebrate the fact that they're married by the giving and receiving of rings. And a wedding ring is a very ancient, very traditional way of sealing a marriage contract. It's an unbroken circle and it symbolises and represents unending and everlasting love. Worn on the third finger of the left hand, to signify to all the world your new status as husband and wife, but also because it was traditionally felt that that finger had a direct link to the heart. So it's the perfect place to put the symbol which will represent your love, your commitment, and the vows you're making to each other today. So, I believe, Jonathan, Luke, have you got the rings as well? We have indeed. Okay, so we need, first of all, the bride's rings. So whoever has the bride's ring, will you please present it to Stephen? Place that ring on the third finger of Christine's left hand, please, Stephen. If you say to her, I give you this ring. I give you this ring. In the presence. In the presence. Of our family. Of our family. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. And a token of my love for you. And a token of my love for you. Thank you. Now, I guess the other ring is there, so can we present that one to Christine, so she can return the honour. Third finger of Stephen's left hand. If you would say to Stephen, please, Christine, I give you this ring. I give you this ring. In the presence of our family. In the presence of our family. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. And a token of my love for you. And a token of my love for you. You have given and received wedding rings, and you've also chosen on this very special day to say some words to each other. So who's Stephen, are you going to go first, or is Christine going to go first? She usually goes first. All oh, right, well, we'll let Christine go first, then. <laughs> Why now? Good start. <laughs> Why now? Why not now? Now is the time. Now is our time. Stephen, you are my north, <laughs> you are my north, my south, my east and west, my working week and my Sunday rest, my noon, my midnight, my talk, my song, my love that lasts forever, my sense of right and wrong. You are by my side friend, everyone wishes for, my strong arms catching me when I fall, my light, my guide, my direction, my path. My reassuring and calming voice, you even make me laugh. You are my, you are my inspiration, my support, my strength, my rock and constant at any length, my comfort and passion, strengthening our bond. My adored, my inspirational Stephen, I love you not only for what you are, but for what I am when I am with you. I love you not only for what you have made of yourself, but for what you are making of me. I am proud and thankful for our boys and the life we have made together. And I can't think of a better way to celebrate our 20 years together than to get married to the man I love, my partner, my friend, my soulmate. True love in whatever shape or form it may come. May we all in our daughter be proud to say, I was a dog once too. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just need to stop and take stock. Sometimes you need to stop and mark something that really means something. 
And for me, that's what we're doing today. Marking something that we know. Don't we? And we've always known. And that's what really matters. And life gets complicated, and that's when we hang on to each other until it's over. That's when you're my rock. That's when you're my hiding place. And that's when you're my refuge. I hope I'm yours. I feel we bring out the best in each other. And that, I suspect, is why we work. Our love's quite straightforward, really. Quite simple. And in that simplicity, we find our moments of peace just being us. And our time is now. I think you said that. <laughs> Forged in the fire to become, to become what we are so we can stand here. We are unique, but together our colours blend to form a rich palette. You're my best friend. I'm more confident, more together, and also more organised because of your years of wearing it down. <laughs> there are so many things I've achieved because you've been next to me that I wouldn't have had the confidence to do. I am stronger and richer, but not financially. <laughs> <laughs> and braver and braver for being with you. Your practical edge complements my creative energy. Although not when you come home from work on an afternoon and I've done no housework because I've written a new song. We'll continue to work on that. When it comes to me and what I offer you, as I'm fond of saying, you deserve everything you get. So I'll offer you my all, and you can deal with that as you see fit. Because turning to the great philosophers of our time, and paraphrasing Phoebe Buffet and Rachel Green, you are my lobster. You do, and will continue to create something very special. So now and forever, I am your king, and you are my queen. And finally, in the words of Winnie the Pooh, <laughs> we're here together, friends forever. Some things were just meant to be, and that's you and me. This is not easy, is it? <laughs> well then, from me to both of you, Love is the most ideal expression. It's the joining in spirit of two people whose hearts are already one. Love is a word that promises happy tomorrows and gives meaning to everyday moments of sharing. It strengthens you in difficult times and supports you in good times. And love makes a commitment that never ends. Today is therefore just a new beginning of a phase in your lives. And this is a special moment that already is filled with love. Tomorrow is the beginning of countless bright tomorrows, filled with special dreams, now that you are man and wife. May the happiness that you found together in the last 20 years be yours throughout the following, however many years you have together, and may all of your moments be filled with love. So, Stephen and Christine, you have both made the declarations prescribed by law. You've made a solemn and a binding contract with each other. In the presence of myself and Chris, your registrar for marriages, your two special boys, as you said, and everyone that you've invited to be a part of your day. So it gives me the greatest of pleasure to say those very special words, Stephen and Christine, you are indeed now husband and wife together. So Stephen, in that time, would you like to kiss your bride? Congratulations. Thank you. Would you like to take seats at the desk yeah. and then Chris will take you through the signing of the register?